Bethesda has updated the Creation Club, and one of the items they added was the Tesla Cannon. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Tesla Cannon was my favorite weapon in Fallout 3, and I really loved it in New Vegas, but I used the Hollow Rifle more. But if you don't want to count DLCs, the Tesla Beaten Prototype was my favorite weapon. Now, this cost us 200 credits, and I think it looks better than it ever has before. Now, as you can see here, there is the standard barrel Tesla cannon assembly. Now, if you can, you can go for that style if you want to go for a Fallout 3 broken steel look. If you don't, then I would go for the Tesla beaten assembly. And any of these, they got the jury rigged if you want to go for like the Elijah's um, Tesla cannon, or they got the beaten. Um, now, I went with the jury rigged because. I wanted to keep it kind of similar to, um, you know, um, Elijah's from Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC. Now, I think the gun looks really good. Now, like the, I said, the downside about the Fallout 3 look is it's not going to have good stats. Now, it's not going to have good stats for me as much because I do not use heavy weapons a lot. So, I don't have the heavy weapons perk. Now, like I said before too, I think the weapon looks a lot better um, now than it did before in Fallout New Vegas or 3. So here we can get a look at the weapon. And the weapon is just beautiful. It is amazing looking. It is just, you know, awesome. Now this is probably my favorite weapon to ever hit the Creation Club. So I'm going to talk about it. Is it worth it? Well, yeah, in my opinion, because it's two, not 200 credits. I said 200 credits a minute ago, but I was thinking of the handmade shotgun, because that was my recent review. Um, it was actually 400 credits. 400 credits is equal to four, do four U.S. dollars. Um... So, in my opinion, yeah, it's worth it, but, you know, at the same time, it's a little bit of money to spend on, uh, you know, a cosmetic item. Um, but, you know, maybe the reason I see it being worth it is maybe because I liked Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. And since it was my favorite weapon in those games, maybe that's why I liked it. And maybe that's why I think it's worth it. Um, one of the downsides is there is no reload ammunition. You don't even reload the game. And the energy shells do not eject out the back of the gun like it did in the other games. It's just you press the reload button and it reloads. Um, so there's no reload emanations. And that killed it for me right there. What I was going to give it was a 10 out of 10. But I want to give it a 9.5 because there is no reload emanations. And that's really a downside in my opinion that I guess... I either I'm thinking it was probably rushed out, or they just didn't feel like adding them. I don't know which one. Maybe they just didn't feel like adding reload emanations. I don't know. Because if they wanted to go for the Fallout 3 uh, version, you would reload quite a bit, but it would be, you know, more lore friendly if they did. Now the quest. I didn't really like the quest, but it's okay. I give it an 8 out of 10. It's about gunners, and... It should have been about the Brotherhood of Steel, in my opinion. Because we know that the two Tesla cannons um, are only... Well, actually, three of them have to do with the Brotherhood. The one in the Broken Steel DLC. The one in the Safe House in Fallout New Vegas. And the third one being um, Elijah's uh, personal Tesla cannon. The Jury Rig Tesla cannon. Now... The other thing um, that I can only think of, the only other Tesla cannon actually, would be the one, is the Tesla beaten prototype. So, you know, I guess maybe that could make more sense. The quest, I just, you know, I think it should have been about the Brotherhood of Steel, um, in my opinion. About the, uh, you know, the Brotherhood of Steel in New Vegas or the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3. You know, they could have added um, some, you know, dead bodies or something at least instead of about gunners as i'm getting sick of the gunners i mean it's a great weapon but i'm 
I mean, come on, it couldn't have been that hard to actually add something that would have been more or friendly. So, you know, the weapon, definitely a 9.5. I would have gave it a 10 if there was reload animations. And the quest, an 8, because, I mean, the quest was cool, but it didn't have nothing to do, really, with the Brotherhood of Steel. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this quick little review on the weapon. Um, the weapon is going to be really good for you if you have the hippie weapons or the bloody mess perks. But I only have the bloody mess and some other perks. I do not have heavy weapons. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little quick video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions for a future video, please let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, this has been Nightmare. Thank you so much for watching.